Good afternoon, Fantasy Bay. Mike Williams here with another Week 7 Game Preview. And today we're going to be going over the Vikings versus the Lions. Let's get it started. All right. So the over-under is 43.5, and, and the spread is negative 2.5 for the Vikings. So we're going to start with Kirk Cousins. You like that? You like that? My man is back. 35 fantasy points last week, 333 yards, four touchdowns, one pick. Um, I think that this this offense is definitely becoming more balanced, but I don't know if it's going to stay as pass heavy. I think they're going to play to their opponent's weaknesses, and I think that that leads them to run the ball a little bit more this week than they are throwing the ball this week because the Lions are terrible against the run. They're the third worst team against the run, allowing 24 point fantasy points against the run, but they are allowing 20 points against the pass, which is 19th. So I think that ground and pound is going to be a little more in on this one. I still think that Adam Thielen and Stefan Diggs have a decent game, but I do not think that it is as pass centric as it has been the last couple weeks. That being said, I think you start Kirk Cousins, Adam Thielen, Stefan Diggs, and definitely my man Dalvin Cook, who had a, who had a mad game last game, 13 fantasy points. He only had 16 attempts, 41 yards and a touchdown. That's not terrible. I think he has a great game this week. Definitely feasts. Uh, Alexander Madison, I also think, is an okay flex play. Like, if you're desperate and you really need a running back, I think that he would be an okay flex play. He looks great. He just doesn't get his, the opportunities. Because, I mean, you got to think about it. Dalvin Cook's got to eat, but you got to keep Stefan Diggs happy and Thielen, since they're, especially now that they're going out to the media. So I don't think there's too many touches for Alexander Madison, but, man, if he starts to get involved, I love his talent. And actually, that's going to be it for the Vikings. Now let's go over to the Lions, who've actually turned it around a little bit this year. They've been looking pretty good. I'm actually genuinely impressed. Matthew Stafford had a meh game last game. 10 fantasy points, 265 yards, no touchdowns. But, I mean, a couple weeks ago, he had a great game. 29 fantasy points, 291 yards, and three touchdowns. I believe that Matthew Stafford does not have a top 12 type play this week, so I'm, I'm personally not playing him. That being said, Kenny Galladay should have a good game this week. I like Kenny Galladay. I think he's very talented. Last week, 121 yards, 12 fan, sorry, 17 fantasy points, 9 targets. You like that? So you're starting Kenny Galladay. The question is Marvin Jones. Can you trust Marvin Jones? I think that this week he has an okay game. I don't think he has a boom game, but I don't also don't think he busts like he did last week. Uh, he's had a lot of air yards. He's, they just not converted into points, but I think that he could have an okay game this week. By okay, I mean like may get you 10. Carry on Johnson. He was down on rushes last week when he played. He only had 13 last week. The previous two weeks that he played, 26 and 20. Um, I think that he has a meh game. The Vikings are pretty damn good against the running back. They are fifth against the running back, which beastly. They're only allowing 15 points a game to that position. Luckily, there is no C.J. Anderson to steal away touches, so I think that he still has an okay game. And I'm not starting D.J. Hawkinson. And that's going to do it. Uh, if you have any questions, hit me up. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Fantasy Bay, I'm out.